Oh, yo, what is going on, guys? It is the DFS Shark. We got another day of some NBA hoops. We actually have a pretty decent sized slate today. There's about 10 to 10 plus games today on the slate, so a lot of value all across the board. Um, and we're going to be diving into my top five plays of the day. But as always, guys, if y'all watch these videos, y'all like these breakdowns, make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can be alerted as soon as these breakdown videos drop. Every single morning, I'm dropping a prize picks video, and then nightly, I'm dropping a chalkboard video. Last night, I did not get a chance to post the chalkboard video, but I will be back on it tonight. So make sure you got those notifications on so you can see as soon as I drop that. But if you want my free plays even sooner, or if there's times where I can't even push a video out, join the Discord. It is free. The link is in the description. That is where I post all my plays as soon as I have them so you can get those lines before they change. But I just want to go over these codes. If you're new to prize picks, if you haven't played before, sign up using this code here. They're going to match you up to a 100% deposit match. It is a great time to get on board right now because they've been running like two to three discounts every single day for March Madness. And then we got baseball season coming up, so I expect there will be more. And the same with Chalkboard. Drop in that code SHARK. They're going to hook you up. They also run a ton of discounted lines, so it's good to have a variety of different books in there. Um, but let's go over yesterday's play, man. So we were on a hot streak recently. We had one four in a row, and then over the last couple of days, we lost the last couple of lines. Um, so we're basically four and two over our last six days, which is still solid. But Rozier came through for us here, man. Draymond Green just couldn't get it going. He only had like one assist in the first quarter, didn't hardly do anything in the second. And then I think the second half, he got a couple of them. But either way, we're taking the L here with Draymond Green not coming through. But it's all good. I mean, it can't, you can't expect to win all these plays. You just got to put your best play out there and then see what happens. This is what we rolled with yesterday, man. We are already moving on to today. And before we dive in real quick, let me just quickly go over. If you're, in the, if you're in the Discord, slide on down here to free plays. You can see the play we're about to go over I have in there. And this is where I post all the free plays every single day. Um, and then I add discounted lines from time to time as well. So if you want these plays or if you want any added debt lines, join the Discord. Um, and also, if you want to take it to the next level, it's totally up to you. But I'm usually sending 8 to 12 slips a day in the premium plays. You can go here to join premium or just go to the DFSshark.com. You can learn more about it. See some of the reviews of people that are in there and some of the wins that we're getting in there. But let's dive into the optimizer. Let's see what the top two optimized plays of the day are. I mean, if we hit this refresh, we're on prize picks here. I just sorted it by NBA. We got Clint Capella over nine and a half rebounds. I mean, got Infernay Simons over three and a half rebounds. So rebounds heavy. You can see all the books are favored in. Um, they're favored in Capella to go on the over here. DraftKings minus 135, Pinnacle minus 145. So this is a solid slip right here. If you want to throw this in Capella over nine and a half, Simons over three and a half. And if you're looking for a tool that can literally optimize these plays for you in one second and compare all the odds from all the major sports books and give you the best plays that have the highest percent odds to hit, then DGF or Daily Grind is the best spot for that. Drop in that code SHARK. They're going to hook you up for 25% off your first month. You can get in here and test it out and see if it's for you. These are where I get all my plays from every single day. It's proven that it wins by me and a lot of others that use it. So it's a great tool to have in your tool belt, basically. But let's get into these plays of the day. All right, big slate today. I've narrowed it down by my two favorite plays at the moment. One of them is going to be Bradley Bill over three and a half rebounds. All right, Bradley Bill over three and a half rebounds. If you look at his last five here. So as we dive in here, I like looking at the spreads of the games first and kind of see what that's looking like and one of the totals that stood out to me on this slate is this one here the suns and spurs over 232 a good size total here um, i'm liking that there should be a lot of points scored should be a quick pace played game here um the one downside to this play is that the suns are a minus 12 and a half so there's definitely blowout potential here so if you like to stay away from blowouts um if you just like to avoid them entirely then this one would be one you probably want to avoid. But let's dive into Bradley Bill here. So over three and a half rebounds, we got outliers set to that. Over his last five, he's gone over this line 80% of the time. His last 10, 60%. His last 20, 60%. Head to head, they just played recently. He only had one rebound here, right? He ended up playing about 28 minutes. Um, Phoenix ended up blowing them out, right? But he still played 28 minutes, which isn't, you know, I would like to see 30 plus. But 28 minutes isn't bad. That should be enough time for him to hit this line anyway. But for the year, he got he's at 64%. So he's consistently hit this line all year, and he's proved that. And the, the Spurs are not a good rebounding team 
at all. 27th. Um, even at the center position, women Yama, they're still 28th, right? So they're 27th overall against shooting guards. They're 25th. So Bradley Bill has, should have no problem scooping up four rebounds. Um, he's already proven all year he can consistently hit this line as well. If we scroll down here, you can see here he's hit this line in 14 of his last 17 games on the road, averaging 4.6 rebounds. So over his last 17 games on the road, he's averaging 4.6 rebounds, which is very solid for us. Um, so this is a play I'm liking here. Bradley Bill. There was a lot of other solid plays on here, so it was really tough to narrow it down to my top two. I mean, we went on Bradley Bill a couple of times recently on the same line, and we were able to hit. So I'm rolling back with Bradley Bill here. You can see all the odds makers. DraftKings minus 130. We got BetMGM, Caesars, FanDuel. All of these books are all minus 135 and up. So we're getting really solid odds here on this play. Um, so I expect Bradley Bill to hit this line. Let's go over to Rotowire, see what they have. They have him at about 5.1 rebounds here. So they got him going a whole rebound and a half above th what this line is set at. So Bradley Bill, that's the first one. We're going to be locking that one in. Let's go to our second play here. This is a play we were on, I think, last week, and we, we hit on this one. Um, the play is Keontae George. Under 9.5 rebounds and assists, and the line is still here as well. You can see here he's not been hitting this line at all recently. Uh, go to the spread of this game as well. Another high total here. Dallas is a minus 8. So what I'm hoping happens here is Dallas, the Mavericks, come in on the road and just blow out the Jazz, right? Pull those starters out of the game so he doesn't even get as many minutes in the fourth quarter. Hardly plays any minutes. That's kind of what I'm hoping happens. But even if he plays the full minutes, um, I'm still liking this play here. Let's slide over to Keontae George. If we go to his last five, he's been steady under this line under 80% of the time. If we go to his last 10, still 80%. Last 2075. And then head to head. So they've played each other three times this year, right? The first time they played, he went for 15 here, 11 assists, four rebounds. But then the last two times they've played each other, um, he's gone for six and seven. So two out of three, he's gone under against the Mavs this year. Um, and the scores for these last two were the Jazz actually blew the Mavericks out by 30 plus here. And then the Mavericks beat him by about 15 or so points there. So this game has gone back and forth both ways. Both been blowouts both ways. So hopefully the same tonight. You can see for the season, 73% he's gone on the under. Now Dallas isn't the strongest defense when it comes to assist and rebounds. Right, You can see here they're only ranked 25th and 22nd. But Keontae George is someone who just showed, who just shows he can consistently stay under this line. You can see he has he he had a bunch of games where he was going over, but he hasn't really had that consistency lately. If you go back all looking right here, you can see he's steady at this six to seven number here, right? There's a lot of games where he had four and three right here. So it lines up with all the odds. It lines up with the stats as well. If you go to the trends here. He's failed to hit this in seven of his last games, seven of his last eight at home, only averaging 7.4 rebounds. So two whole points under what the line is currently set at. Let's see what the odds makers have this at. Caesars minus 125, DraftKings minus 130, BetMGM minus 135, and FanDuel has this all the way at a minus 146. So you're getting really good odds from a major sports book in FanDuel at a minus 146. Play a slide over road to wire, see what they have them at. So if you add these up, the rebounds and assists, we got about 10.2. So that Rotowire has them going above this line slightly, right? I've already sent those on the Discord. Um, but these next three plays are plays that are on my radar right now. If I was gonna run a five-man slip, these are the plays I would throw in there. The first one is gonna be Capella over nine and a half rebounds. You can see they've bumped them up to 10 here. Um his last two, he actually hit exactly 10. But this is a play I'm liking here. Um, I expect him to come in and, you know, get some boards and get some work early. Another play I'm liking is Miles Bridges. PRA over 30 and a half. This one is still set here. Um, Cleveland is hurting defensively. I wouldn't be playing this play if Cleveland had their whole squad. But Donovan Mitchell's out. Mobley may or may not play. Um, and a couple of other guys are just kind of questionable at the moment. So they are hurting. They're not the same Cavs team from, you know, a couple months ago. 
So Miles Bridges, I like him to get in there and take advantage of all those injuries. Another one we got here is Amin Thompson. So the line I liked here on him was the steals line, under 1.5 steals. So this line is no longer here. They must have removed it. Um, I definitely would not play 2.5 steals and more unless you want some upside with a lower chance of hitting, a way lower chance of hitting. But if you can get this line on, you know, chalkboard, dabble, sleeper, wherever you're, wherever you play at, a solid play is steals under 1.5 by Amin Thompson. But those are going to be the plays for the video, guys. If y'all like these breakdowns, these morning daily breakdowns, I'm really trying to go in depth and give you some insight on why I'm liking this play, why I'm choosing this player, what the spread, what the total is. I look at a different, I look at multiple things when it comes to making my plays, and it's what's worked for me, right? You know, putting a little extra time in doing some research and figuring out where the best plays are daily has been paying off for me. But if you like these videos, make sure you hit that like, subscribe. Like I said, join that Discord if you want to get early access to the free plays as soon as I drop them. And if you want to get started on prize picks and chalkboard, drop in this promo code here or drop in this promo code SHARK on chalkboard to get all set up. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. I hope you all have a great rest of the day. Take care.